holiday vacation. Here we are in this uh, back in these lovely sunny hills. Got a bit of Lovely. I noticed they've got bins out now for them. So day two. Keep test panning, so we're going to try a different spot today. We've got a bit of a fast moving channel coming down here and then into this good sized waterfall. It's pretty deep in there and it looks clean bedrock in the bottom. Bounce, what I call a bouncer, isn't it? And then we've got some massive big boulders lying in here and a big dirty looking gravel bar. And behind that section of bedrock there, it looks relatively undisturbed to me. I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. So we may have some gold in a flood layer on top of that, hopefully. Down behind this one, it does look like someone's dug it to me. So we'll do a bit of test pan in there, see if there's any gold shows up. And if it does, I'll set the sluice up over there and we'll get sluice in. Another beautiful day up in Scottish Hills. So we've got my subscriber Steve Gold, he's just pumping out behind that rock. His channel he's in looks a bit fast flowing for my liking. He's just had a speck of gold. And then up there, Daz P's picking a spot. So we've got some big boulders and all sorts of size cobbles through this gravel bar. We've got some big rocks around on this bedrock here. I'm going to shift that rock in there. Let's dig this, see if we can get that down the bedrock there and see if there's anything good. Got my proper drop riffle on. Don't often use this. I love it. It's my favourite slew, so let's uh, pump some material through it and see what happens. Look at that. What a place. Dirty looking mixed gravels there. The gravels are uh, not very compact, it's all a bit too loose for my liking. So what have we got? I don't know. Might be a couple of specks. It doesn't look very bright though. We'll do two buckets from this location and pan it. And if there's no gold, I'll go back to where I was yesterday and clean it down to bedrock. Well, that turned out a waste of time. I've just chucked all the rocks in, filled my hole back in. I think someone's done it right across. I think there's a bit of a crevice across the bottom there. And although that side looked disturbed, there's not really any hematite in it. So I think someone's just completely done it already. Didn't get a speck out of two buckets. So that's this prospect over with. Someone's beat me to it. So I went in the 
museum today and had a look at the history. They didn't have that much on um, the alluvial workings, they had plenty on the actual mine. And what we're looking at in front of me here is a, you can see that rotten plank. And I have a feeling that was uh, used like a wing dam by the old timers. I don't know how old, whether it's 30, 40, 50 years old or going back to the turn of the century, you know, late 1800s, I'm not sure. But um, they would have stuck that board in a gravel bar and uh, closed in the flow on one side of the river, creating a venturi, which would have helped suck all the light uh, gravel and material off the gravel bar, just leaving the heavies behind so they can just work them, saving them half the work. Very clever. Um, that's not a very good example there, so we're going to walk a bit further and see if we can find another. So here we have one in place. This, I don't know how old it is, maybe more recent than I'm thinking, but it's definitely not new. It's a good example that is, that's placed sort of in the middle of the gravel bar. And you can see how this end closes the, the flow of the water off, causing it to speed up and dragging all the, the light material off the gravel bar and downstream. And then they'd be able to just work the heavies that are left behind, probably reducing the workload by half. Clever, clever people. So it's left in there. That's a proper old wooden board. It's not modern because I'm sure they'd be using plywood nowadays or a proper old wooden board. I wonder how old that is. I don't know. No idea. But uh, the pit, there's a picture in the in the museum of a guy using them back in the 1800s. And if that is more modern, then it's uh, just been used, reused. This could also be a, a stone wing dam to draw the gravel off the gravel bar or it's just another panners uh, dam to get a sluice going it's hard to tell how cool is that an old wooden sluice probably not that old I wonder how old that is 30 years maybe yeah we've got Phillips screws in that and plus, is it plywood? No, it's an old board, it is wood. Look at that, chipboard. Chipboard end, so it's not that old. But before all the plastic sluices come out, I presume. Cool. <laughs> so I have a gravel bar here, and I've raked all the big rocks out of the way over here just down a bit there um, put a couple of big rocks in the flow over there to allow the water to flow in here and wash all the light stuff out of the gravel bar give me less work to dig and we're going to start sucking it up in a minute now it's washed a bit out and see if it holds any gold we all did really bad today, didn't get any gold really. So Daz P's gonna take me to one of his spots where there is gold. Right. Good? We got gold. That's a good thing. Oh. Daz and his final cleanup. <laughs> Heavy. Loads of yellow in there. 
few specs from um, Lead Shop. So I've been digging behind that uh, outcrop of rock. Just see boat head. I've done seven buckets and get a consistent 10 specks of bucket near enough and um, just seeing the bedrock poking out underneath so we should be getting to the bottom i hope there's something a little bit bigger when we get to the bottom time to i've put three buckets through and that's time to empty those riffles out or is the goal to be riding out because the heavy tops are full of heavies I've seen a couple of my Drew specs, I don't know what that is. Nice gold showing up in the sluice here. So Daz's pot spot came up trumps. We've got some, you know, small gold, but was, you know, it's, we're seeing it with every scoop. It's uh, nice just to keep seeing it appear in the sluice. Keeps you going. Nice little hole today. Well, thanks to Daz for putting me on the gold. We had a great day. It was a beautiful location. And I got a nice bit of shiny look. I pulled this sheep carcass out of the burn two days ago. And someone's uh, had a good go on it. Stripped it right down. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.